Fishman, aka Hi-Riz Fish, and I'm a gameplay programmer here at Hi-Riz. My name is Charlie Kim. Um, I am a UI engineer at Hi-Riz Studios. My name is Chris Larson, and I'm the senior producer for Smite. I actually got started in the games industry here at Hi-Riz. Uh, I graduated with a master's in computer science from Clemson University, and then I started going around <coughs> to conventions that had stuff like meet the games industry and um, talking to people and. They had something like that at Dragon Con, and they're like, oh, you should go to this thing called Siege. So I went to this thing called Siege, and they had a party at the end of the night, and I got to talk with Mick Larkins, another one of our programmers here, and he was like, oh, you went to Clemson. I went to Clemson. So I uh, exchanged business cards, I sent them an email, and they were hiring, so I got hired. So my friends got computers and Apple II Plus and like a VIC-20, and I'm like, Dad, I need to have this. You know, I want to program software or whatever. Um, not even necessarily games, I was just infatuated with programming in general. So yeah, I, I convinced my dad to finally get me a computer for Christmas and he got me a, a Commodore 64. And like it just came out and I was like, this is pretty awesome, but there is like zero software for it. So my friend and I basically started porting over games from Apple II Plus. So I was browsing LinkedIn one day and I saw a message pop up say, uh, from a recruiter saying, it's like, there's a company that's hiring uh, for a UI engineer or UI developer. And then I replied back and kept going, emails kept going back and forth. And, uh, and then I got an interview here. That's it. To, to break in the industry, I think the, obviously the number one tip is to have contacts. So high res goes to like a lot of game shows, PAX and Siege and Dragon Con and we do a lot of panels and we talk to people and that's just a really good way to, that's probably the, one of the best ways to get like in, into someone's head like, hey, I'm interested, here's my resume and you know, go, go with that. And then you kind of put a name with face as opposed to a thousand resumes that are on someone's desk. For me, it was a combination of preparation and opportunity. And the preparation part was I went and I was like, okay, well, for this position, what, what, are, what are they hiring for? What are they looking for? And it was a bachelor's or master's degree with a computer science background. So I went and did that first. And then the opportunity wasn't something that I kind of stumbled upon. It was something I went and sought out. It's like, all right, I need to start talking to people. I have a friend here. I have a friend, you know, CCP and EA Games. And then, you know, going to these things to meet people to now that I was in a position where I had the preparation, make myself an opportunity where I could get in. So I would suggest doing the same. Uh, first, make sure that, that you can do the job that you're applying for and then go out and find people who are looking for, for that job. I would say that dedication is one of the biggest uh, personality traits that, that's good to have along with uh, passion for games. I mean, if you, if you don't like games, whatever, what's the point of working in the game industry, right? <laughs> We hire for various levels in our positions. It's okay to be a just out of school first time for some roles and in other roles. We're looking for somebody who's got six, seven years on the job. Um, whereas we wouldn't even look at those people for the ones that we want a hungry young programmer for. That's what I was hired as. Um, and after that, we, we have a fit test. It's like, all right, well, we have a lot of personalities. We have an overabundance of personality here at Hi-Rez. Are we bringing someone in who's going to be a uh, you know, harmonic part of that or someone who's going to just be unhappy and wind up leaving us um, before anybody gets what they want out of it? So um, be yourself. Building game software is just as demanding as any other area. Um, so, you know, you just have to be motivated. Know that when you come, come through the door that you're here to work. And um, it's fun to test. So, you, you know, you get to play games, but you know, your main thing here is to deliver software.